Hello YouTube, Damo underscore 23 here and welcome back to episode 101 of the Paris 13 Atletico Save as we do it better than PSG. In the today's non-league to legend, we have the first knockout round of the Champions League yet again because we keep failing to make it outside into the top eight, I should say. We are seeded for the draw, of course we are as well. The teams want us to get Celtic. I wouldn't mind Fed a bunch here because we should have pumped them as well, we're going to start the draw. We're going to put it on free X speed. We, of course, are seeded, so we can get Wolfsburg for the bunch, eh? San Sebastian, Renes, Dortmund into Milan and PSV. Um, there's a couple of teams we want. For the bunch, eh? Renes isn't bad. PSV is pretty good. Wolfsburg's not bad. We don't want Dortmund. We do not want Inter. We do not want Milan. Away we go. Knowing how the season's gone, we're going to get one of the bad ones. But, yeah, here we go. We have got it on free X speed, and away we go. Wolfsburg for the out, first out the hat. Are we, can we get them because we played them in the league? I don't know. Ajax get them. It's actually a winnable game for Wolfsburg. They've lucked out. Um, Feta Bunchay would love this to be Paris 13 Atletico. Please? Juve. Well, we can't get into them because we played them too, but that might not mean anything. PSV, I would like. Don't want Raul Soyuzhi, Dad. I think we could beat them, but I don't think we want them. Atletico Madrid, two French sides. Uh, two bad. Uh, Spanish sides. Renes. I'm okay with this one. If it is an all French affair. It is. There we go. So we're going to be playing Renes in the uh, in the first knockout round. We have played Monaco in the first knockout stage before and we did knock him out. Renes currently sitting fifth. We have a very good record against Renes. Um, and that's going to be this episode where we play home and away against Renes. Um, and... Let's see what we can do against them. Hopefully, it's just how it's going in the league. We beat them, we beat them. We are a team that is nearly 20 points better than them in the league. So that's actually a pretty good draw. Um, and then hopefully we get through that and put ourselves in a position where, yeah, we uh, look to make sure that we're through um, in the you know second knockout round. And hopefully we get a good draw there as well once we get there. With that being said, though, I'll see these guys on the flip side for that. And I'll be back with the Renner's first leg or... Um, nah, we'll play, we'll play both legs. I was tempted to just give you the home leg um, and see if we pump them away from home. Um, but yeah, look, we'll give you Renners and see these guys in a sec. Here we are, first leg, study our Rens. We are nearly 20 points. We're 19 points in front of them in the league. So if this was played on paper, this would be a tie that we love and should get through. In terms of results against study our Rens this year, we've only played them, I think, the once this year so far. Haven't played them around in the return. We did win 2-1 away from home in a game where they scored in the 88th minute to wreck the clean sheet, but we were the better team and they scored their only shot on target. Hopefully today goes in a similar vein. Since we last met, we've still kept Cicelo at the football club. Man City no longer even want him anymore. They just wanted to make me upset, um, or make him upset, I should say. Um, we have beaten Brest 2-1 since drawing to Aurea Auger 1-1, but winning in the... Uh, but we didn't get the penalty shoot out there. In terms of the team, only player missing out is Kana with a suspension. So Salama will get a start in the Champions League. Everyone else is at full strength and ready to go. So it's Kim Ingwes picking Tariq and Tassello with Salama, Luis Fernando, Ravella, Bakayoko. Chivalieri's been in good form, so he'll keep his role. Dossu's back from African Cup of Nations, could make the team, but doesn't. Makoku, though, is up top and ready to go. Here we are, big game. It's Renes. They still got Adam Holzak and Co. It should be a game that we go out here and win. But let's go and find out. We're unbeaten in the last eight appearances against Renes as well, um, which is not bad. This um, Malabar um, guy, we nearly signed the South African um, as well. He's now joined here from PSG. He hasn't developed into the world class player. He could have been if he joined me instead of PSG. But let's get into it. Win the fluoro. About time. I love the fluoro kit. And Renners are in the red. Away we go. Um, look, as long as we don't lose this leg, I expect us to win, obviously, in Paris. So it should be a tie we should be comfortable in. It isn't the league, however. It is the Champions League. It is a different kettle of fish. I will say Renners kept bidding for Diallo. I keep rejecting. Main reason being, well, main reason being, I can't really afford to sign another centre-back at the minute. Um, but um, I wasn't going to sell him to a place where he would play against us in the Champions League. Anyway, that's not a bad idea of a ball, but Ingwes will win. Picking gets on it, and 25 minutes in Salama with a great ball out of Chivalieri. Two very similar players, Salama and Kana. Kana a bit more defensive, Salama a bit more of a, um, aggressive and can hit ones from distance. Bakayoko, 
He scores. Great ball through. We lead 1-0. We're in a very good spot. Early doors here against Renners in the first leg. <coughs> but there we are. Chivaleri, Cicello, back to Salama. Him and Kana have a very similar passing range. Salama's more forward thinking. Definitely a player that has been transformed being a bit more of a deeper player as well. Always seems to play well whenever he plays as well. There's a world where him and Mel Belai really are two players that should really start for us more often than they do. But look, they play well off the bench and they're pretty good to have. Right on half time, there's a highlight here though. And Peter Malaba has got the armband apparently as well. That's interesting. Um, Castello Jr. Onana picked off by Maxine Chivaleri. Bakayoko gets and wants. Makoku's with him inside and ignored him. He now looks for Makoku, which was too late. Ball falls to Makoku. Luis Fernando, Ravella. Luis Fernando. Don't know who he looked for there out of Maxine and Chivaleri or Ticello. But yeah. Um, interesting. That should have definitely been a highlight where it found Makoku and off we went, but it wasn't. Playing out from the back quite well there, actually, to be fair to Rennes, and worked it very nicely. Um, and then pick and reads the game and wins it back. Bakayoko, Makoku's on side. Makoku cross keepers on. He scores yet again in the Champions League. Is it on side? I thought he was personally, um, but we'll find out right now. We don't look too interested, so which makes me think it is off, and it is being given as offside. So Makoku doesn't score here in the Champions League. It's not his 35th goal of the season. Should have been a ball to him early. Very tight is what I would say. Um, we'll give the benefit of the doubt to VAR. We have seen VAR make mistakes. Looks like Renners are a little bit legless, but we definitely got to rotate against Brest in our last game as well. With that being said, we're going to rotate the camera. We're one new up, we're 45 minutes away from taking a lead. And even though we've had more of the ball, they've actually played pretty well on the break and had some chances. Nana wins that one. They're going to go long, and that is a ball over the top, only as far as Salama on a booking. Finds Cicello. He fires one into Bakayoko. Your head's just over. In a very good spot. But ideally, we want to see another goal here. To make things a little bit, you know, less nervy. Tariq drives. Ravella's presented there for pick and so a Salama. And Ravella picks it up and looks for Makoko. He's quick. He's away. Keepers come. And well, to be fair to Johansson, he's made a very good save. Makoko does have a habit of this. In the group stage, being decent. In the league, being fantastic. And then in the knockout stage, missing chances. Hopefully it doesn't come back to, um, yeah, the horn toss those missed chances. Ravella picks up that ball there. Decides he's offside. And it is given us offside anyway, so he was correct. Yeah, Makoku really needs to get going here. Last 15, 20 minutes, maybe for Makoku to impact the game. Or else I might bring Elijah on to score a brace in the last league game. Here he is again, though, Makoku. Good run. Bakayoko, 1-2. Makoku, this time he finishes. They've given him three bites at the cherry. One, he was just offside. The other one, he missed the one-on-one. -on -one. That time there, it's 2-0. And that will not be offside. That is his 150th goal in total in all competitions there for Makoku as well. Um, and by the time he's done, he'll be the leading goal scorer ever at the football club, overtaking Colley. But that is a great finish into the back of the net. 60 minutes played. We lead 2-0. Very, very happy with what we have seen out here today. Now, got to make a couple of changes. We're going to welcome Dosu back with open arms as inside forward on one side. In there. Um, Salama's played a lot of minutes of late as well. So we might actually get Pickin in for Salama and get Pickin to actually be a ball winning midfielder. Sit in, don't move too much, and get Diallo in as well. <clears throat> and Melbourne Lai will come in for Ravella too. Like for like, and I might actually get him in to go out there and play as a second advanced playmaker, I think. We're dominating the game. We might go for the juggler, release Melbourne Lyre, <clears throat> and see if uh, we can find another goal here. With that being said as well, I might actually get Makoko off for Elijah too because we will play him in the next league game. Um, Finneson's going to start the next one anyhow. I might get Pimbele on for Hector Ingues before he gets booked or suspended is maybe a go as well. Unless they score from this highlight runners, then we'll leave everything as is. Costello Jr. Ball there into Kerman. Ingues wins. Luis Fernando. Tariq. Diallo. Melbourne Lai presented. Luis Fernando also dropped in. 
Picking just getting on the ball there as well. Dosu now, good couple of touches. Has options through the middle. Makoku is one of them. And, well, he's fired wide of his last chance of the game in the 75th minute. But we do lead 2-0. We've been the better side, and we do deserve to lead. Tariq Nair finds Cicelo. Pickett again picks it up. He finds Dosu. Luis Fernando, poor touch. Back to Johannesson. Really would love a clean sheet if we could. Melbourne Lai presses, and, well, we should have won it once the bad touch was there, but apparently didn't want to. Stello Jr. Kerman. And more Akko. Back to Johannesson. Very well worked this from Renners. And that's a decent ball towards Holds out, but Tariq will win. Falls back to him. Bebeto's with a chance here. And, well, that really should have been 2-1. Kim made himself big and prevented it. It was a poor finish, though. And that's a poor throw in. And Dosu picks that up. And with fresh legs, he is away. Elijah's made a very good run. Ignored. Bakioka's at the back stick. Elijah's at the front stick. Numbers in the area. Dosu, in the end, finds Luis Fernando. He goes for goal. What a finish. Out of all the ways that highlight should have ended up in the back of the net, should definitely be a ball into the box from Dosu. But uh, Luis Fernando just proved he's so well class and puts one into the top bin for 3-0. And we are well on our way to being into the next round of the Champions League here. Good ball, one touch, and he just absolutely placed it with great technique into the far bin, and that is 3-0. And, well, fast becoming all she wrote here in the Champions League for Renners. And we have put him to the sword. Goal for him right now would make a difference. And it's headed, and they've hit the bar, and Diallo thumps it away. And we've at the 93rd minute, another goal here, and I think I'll just recap the next game. 3-0, I might give it to you. I think I will give it to you at 3-0, but this highlight ends being 4-0. Um, we'll just recap the result of the next one. I think at 3-0, I still would go fairly full strength to make sure. But we'd have to get through this highlight. Picking, Bakayoko, great touch back to Diallo. Still enough time to find a goal here. Picking, he doesn't mind playing ball winning midfielder in the defensive midfield role. Finds Pimbele. Diallo, picking again. Knocking around at the back. Could be a pointless highlight. Melbourne lie though. Bakayoko. Look, ball, great ball to Elijah. Poor touch, unfortunately. And might be Renner's highlight here in the last five seconds. Melbourne Lai wins it back. I think it will be a pointless highlight, and it is. Uh, but look, 3-0 win. Very dominant. We were much the better side in this game anyway um, as well. And we basically put ourselves one foot through the door into the next stage of the Champions League. You will see the second game, unless we you know, go 3-0 up inside 20 minutes then. I'll just recap the rest of it. Um, but look, very good performance. And uh, that's as comprehensive as it gets. And I think it's clear to see after this game, we are one of the biggest teams in France. And even a side who are French in the Champions League that isn't called PSG, a low match for us. And just shows how far we really have come in 101 episodes. Okay, YouTube, second leg time. And we have just beaten Paris FC in the Parisian derby. Uh, the smaller derby, 2-0. 3-0, sorry. Um, more importantly, though, Monaco did play Lyon and drew 1-1 in their game. So now we are four points clear on top of the table um, from PSG, five points from Monaco after their recent draw. So we're in a very good position, two games clear, and still have to play PSG at home. In terms of the team, we're definitely going to rotate here slightly. Tariq is suspended for this game here. Um, and with us being 3-0 up, I'm actually going to give Elijah a start up top instead of Makoku. Dosu's going to make his way back into the team. Um, Melba Light will start the last game, so Luis Fernando will start again after scoring in the Champions League. Ravella, Canna's back in for Salama, but do expect to maybe see some rotation there. Um, still going to go with Pickin. Ingues is one yellow card away from suspension. Um, if he gets suspended now, it means that he will miss the first leg, but he's back in for the second leg. It's one of those ones, if we knew who we had, we would definitely uh, take him out or leave him in. Um, important to note here, though, Kim has also developed into three and a half star. Um, yeah, he's becoming quite the key for is Kim. His form has been fantastic. Good to have him back this year at his very best. 
I'm going to start Inguez, and then if he gets booked, he gets booked, and if he doesn't, we might take him off with Pembele there, who's not 100% because he played last time out in the league. Um, but yeah, pretty rotated side. We're in a pretty good spot. You know, Finson is another one that could start, but he won't, but you can see how well he's developed of late as well. And let's get into it. 3 0 we lead. Let's not overcomplicate, uh, you know, what we could or could not pick, etc. Just let's pick a team. Let's get out there. Um, and let's go and win the game of football if possible um, as well, which we should be winning. And away we go. Um, we embark knowing that we're 90 minutes away from the second knockout round, which we'll give you as a start of next episode who we're going to get. Of course, as we'll keep that a bit of a secret. Um, Put it to note, Renners have actually started really well here. Um, but uh, 20 minutes in, not a highlight, still 3 new up. So we're pretty happy with that. And first highlight is Cicelo. We will throw back a line to Kana. He finds Diallo, he finds Luis Fernando, he had a storming game against them last time. Finds back Yoko, looks for Elijah, it's balls to him, first time, there's a goal for Elijah in the Champions League. Um, I think he scored in the Champions League already once, um, but, you know, give him half a yard, and he has the potential, the wonder kid from Serbia, to be very good, and uh, proves it yet again that he does know how to find the back of the net. Um, slight little bit of luck, but a great first time effort as he blasted the ball in the back of the net, which is one of his traits. And 26 minutes in with the first shot on target in the entire game, we do lead 1-0. That's a very good spot to be in. Approaching half time, 4 0 to the good. We're definitely into the next round, you would imagine, from here. Backstick ball looking for Bakayoko. He's got a good head on him, but he doesn't get there. Adam Holzat has got picking for speed, but Inguez is with him and wins that easily. Or well, does the world class right back. And he finds Bakayoko. Elijah's in again. He hits first time. That's a great finish that time. I get annoyed at him when he finishes a lot of things first time because he hits a lot at the keeper. But if he's going to start placing balls like that, then we're very happy. Um, and that's 2-0. Two, two goals for Elijah. We really are one of the best teams in France, aren't we? It's a great ball for It's the outside of the boot. It's a great finish. The one the kid has two right on half time. And there's a potential for another one now. Bakioko steps up. Whip one. It's a great save from Johannesson, to be fair. That's cleared away. And look, 5 new up on aggregate, 2 new up on the night. I am actually going to start making some changes here at half time. Um, we'll give Inguez 45 off. We'll give Perrin there as well. Um, and Tossi will switch into an inside forward on attack. We'll give these guys a little bit of the Finneson show as well to help him develop too. Um, and it allows me to rest... A couple of key players for the upcoming league games. I know we've got like Dijon, etc. But every cup game's a final for us. Uh, every league game's a cup final for us. So yeah, as Dossi hits one over the bar. And I'd rather us uh, be at full strength for as many league games as possible of us with a four-point gap. Because this should be the year that we finally win the league. With that being said, we'll look to make some more changes here in the 60-65th minute as well. As well as Fernando finds Finson. Loses it there. Pimbele, though. Ravella. Picking. Canna. Drops in. Pimbele. Ravella. Finson. Pimbele. Canna. Luis Fernando. And Peter wins that one back. Canna with a great tackle, but falls back to him. A goal for them will not change much. It'll just make me very annoyed. Yeah, I'm very annoyed that we've conceded in this tie, but there he is. Krem scores. Nice finish. We lead 2 1. 5 1 up on aggregate. Kim's uh, clean sheet run is broken, but at least it's not broken in the league. With that being said, we can make some changes here. Melbourne Life of Ravella. And Kana's going to come out there for Salama. And you know what? Nkuku's going to come in for Luis Fernando, and apparently, no, we've one change too many, so that's fine. Oh, good. Make our five changes there. Five on up. We've conceded in the tie. First shot on target of the day has gone in for Renners. Uh, but, you know, we've got a lot of rotation in. We're in a very good spot. And this is all she wrote, which is, uh, you know, nice for us. As Dossu goes in and misses one. Should have cut it to Elijah, who's on a hat-trick. Now this game turns into, can Elijah get a hat-trick or won't he? We're very happy with his performance. Very happy with most people's performance here as well. And we're going to be into the next round of the Champions League, and we're very happy with that. 
Three minutes of added time. That flies away. We win 2-1 on the night. 5-1 on aggregate after pumping him away from home in the first leg. Bakayoko man in the match. Able to get a lot of rotation in there. Good performance, boys. We're very happy. I'll tell you what, lads. We're into the next round of the Champions League. And hopefully... Um, we get a very good draw next episode and see how we get. We get eight mil for playing in the first knockout round. And that's where we don't mind financially that we're in this round because uh, that eight mil has taken us from being four mil, five mil, six mil in debt to a bit in uh, profit land. We still have lost, you know, money uh, totally. Um, but we're up at least five mil this month thanks to the uh, finances there. Still lost 25 mil this season. Um, we're in not the greatest of spots financially, but it is what it is. In terms of that, though, that is the episode done. We'll see you next time for the Champions League. Second knockout round draw. Fingers crossed we get a good tie. And mercifully, hopefully, we can finally make the quarterfinal of the Champions League in the save. We're also four points clear in the league. As this year we win that. Should be, but we'll wait and we'll see. See you next time. Thank you and goodbye.